Welcome to the m and Show. I'm Emma Doyle, here with my good friend, Michelle Crazy. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing so well, Emma. Great to see you. Yeah, all right. Ready for your magnitude question? Here it is. I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, get ready. You'll, okay. I think you'll enjoy this one, knowing okay. you as well as I do. Yeah. How long can you sit still before having to clean? <laughs> That is hilarious. Um, yes, Emma, you do know me well. And um, I would say there's been a lot of cleaning on my end during the stay at home period. Um, I'm going to say about 90 minutes is about how long I can sit still before I need to clean something. And <laughs> that could be pressure washing lanai, that could be doing a load of laundry, that could be um, fixing something for, I guess fixing dinner isn't cleaning, but you still got, then you gotta clean the kitchen up. So, so my tolerance level for sitting still is low. And cleaning, you know, interestingly enough, like some people meditate, cleaning is kind of my meditation. I know, go figure. All right, and how about you? What, what's your cleaning uh, status, um, sitting still status? would say that uh, it's pretty much the opposite of yours. <laughs> 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 I, can, I could go a week without necessarily noticing really? uh, something that needs to be cleaned. However, of course, I do have my routines, right? So okay. in the mornings, I, I do make the tea and the coffee and always yep. unpack the dishwasher. And also, I don't do as much cooking as my partner. So I'm, okay. I do... I don't mind doing the dishes, don't mind right. making sure everything's nice and clean. It's, it's yeah. more what I guess my mum would call surface cleaning. So, okay. um, but uh, <laughs> I could, yeah, I could just get buried in an idea or my creativity flowing and, and not even notice. And not even notice. Good, good. A couple of days. Yeah, I wish I had a little more of, of <laughs> you in me under that circumstance. So excellent. Thank you for answering that question. All right. And up next, of course, is our energy movement. Good day. Let's bring energy to our body with movement. And let's do some side planks with hip dips. So we're going to start out easy. Again, I'm going to be on my forearm. <clears throat> my knees are stacked and at about a 90 degree angle. And from here, I'm just going to press those hips up, keep a nice straight line. And from here, I'm just going to drop the hip down to the ground. Now, you can keep your hand on your hip, or to add a little degree of difficulty, extend that arm up for a nice stretch. Hands are following the hand. And from here, I'm going to extend my top leg. And again, I'm going to drop those hips down so they touch the ground. Always a nice controlled movement down up. Okay, from here, I'm going to extend both my legs. Again, your hand can be on your hip, whatever's comfortable. I like the arm extended. I'm going to drop the hip. This is a higher degree of difficulty. Again, do anywhere from 10 to 20 reps on each side. So, two claps for plank of hip dips. And remember, always train like a pro. Welcome to your mindset tip. Well, as you've probably guessed by now, we are talking about clean out. So, think about what is it that you're holding on to? And what is it that you could potentially let go of? I certainly know uh, moving house from place to place to place and you, you take that same box that you just moving from one house to the next that you've hardly even opened. Have a think about your wardrobe. What's something you haven't worn within the last 12 months? Um, per perhaps you allow yourself to hang on to your two favorite items, but what uh, is there something there you could let go of or you could donate to charity? Um, so have a think about that and um, enjoy your clean out. And so that's us signing off as the M and M show. And that is your daily energy boost. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.